In recent decades, we have seen greenhouse gas emissions rise rapidly. This has been largely driven by our reliance on fossil fuels in pursuing economic development and industrialization. Asia and the Pacific has seen deepening climate change impacts. Disasters and extreme weather are increasing in a region that has limited resources for mitigation and adaptation. A sprawling global production network and deepening global value chains are among the major causes of higher emissions. In fact, production-based carbon dioxide emissions from global value chains grew significantly faster than emissions from other sources. This is of particular concern for developing Asian economies, as they have become critical players within global value chains. To help reduce the carbon footprint of global value chains, there are policy options available. Carbon pricing can be the most efficient mechanism in internalizing the environmental costs of production. Trade agreements can help decarbonize value chains by including environmental provisions. Accurately measuring emissions from and within global value chains can underpin appropriate monitoring and regulation measures. Many economies have launched carbon pricing mechanisms. But the fragmented nature of carbon pricing creates the risk of carbon leakage, as emissions could rise when production is moved from an economy with more stringent environmental policies to one that is more lenient. This, in turn, motivates the introduction of carbon border adjustment mechanisms. The European Union's carbon border adjustment mechanism is expected to cut carbon leakage from the EU's emission trading scheme by around a half. However, it will have a limited effect on global carbon dioxide emissions, and it is likely to reduce both global trade and Asia's exports, while production in some downstream sectors within the EU will also decline. That said, extending carbon pricing and carbon border adjustment mechanisms to other regions may reduce global emissions significantly, although the carbon leakage problem may persist without a global solution. Different distributional impacts across economies will require careful consideration and discussions of the economic incentives for joining in these initiatives. A holistic approach is crucial in decarbonizing global value chains. This can be done by increasing investments in green infrastructure, promoting technological advancement, and prioritizing sustainable investment across value chain segments. Please read our latest Asian Economic Integration Report to learn more.